morning. My name is Pierre Romont and I will present you an overview of the noise modeling open source software and its application. First, noise modeling is part of the noiseplanet.org project, which hosts two softwares. The first one in noise modeling is that I will present you today, but also noise capture software, which helps you to measure noise deployment with a mobile application. My presentation will begin with a, a fast presentation of noise modeling, which model is included in it, which is Econosos EU, and how we validate the implementation. Uh, what are the special features you, have, you can find in noise modeling and how you can use it, how you can from a simple user interface uh, like you see here, which is WPS Builder, uh, do a simple noise map um, like you have uh, on this slide. And finally, I will show you some noise modeling contributions, some results from the research that were uh, find it, uh, found uh, with um, using noise modeling. Noise modeling uh, began in 2010. Uh, the idea was to compute a really fast uh, noise map of the city of Nantes in France. Uh, it included uh, the French model, which is NMPB, and the name of the software was Noise Map. In 2014, more or less, uh, we included the 2D and half dimension, which means that we include the height of the building with building extrusion. And also we couple noise modeling with H2GIS database, which is a GIS compatible database. And during the two last year, we had huge uh, improvement in noise modeling. Um, some improvement was to include uh, Knossos that I will show you after, but also uh, was to include a user interface. So now I will tell you about the model that we include into noise modeling and about its validation. About the model, we decided to develop the Knossos EU model thanks to the text that you have to the right, which is the Directive 2015. Uh, for the emission part, uh, we also have the NMPB French model. And for the propagation part, of course, you have uh, reflection, diffraction, and so on. We just have a small to-do list that you can find here uh, about Rayleigh criterion backward rays and also diffraction over groups, uh, ground, which have a slope superior to 15 degrees. Uh, which made uh, this software almost compliant with uh, Knossos EU. To validate the model, you have some academic tests. All the tests uh, can be found in the source code. It's, they are uh, unit tests. It means that if someone do a development into noise modeling, these tests have to pass uh, if you want to share with the community its uh, development. You have some tests uh, about the emission part, but also the propagation part. Here on this um, slide, you can see or five texts, but we have nearly 20 tests. Um, they are here to be sure that the paths are well founded and the attenuation over the paths is uh, the one expected by the Directive 2015. We also did robustness testing with uh, large input databases, uh, like buildings, for example. We know that when we have large database, which it's more probable that you have some mistakes into the database and we wanted to be sure that uh, noise modeling can still compute a uh, noise map even if you have a small error in one part of your database. What about special features in uh, noise modeling? First, it's an open source software. It has a modular calculation chain. I will explain after. It's compatible with GIS format and with the OGC standard, and it's a cross platform software. So, first, the software is open source. The license that we decided to use is the GPL version 3. This license is quite permissive license. I can let you put pause if you want to read exactly the permission condition and limitations. Um, but yes, it's quite permissive license. All the tools or most of the tools that we use in noise modeling are open source. You can uh, see, for example, here the platform GitHub, which is really useful to develop the, 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 the source code and quite, quite, quite famous. Uh, you can first see the source code. You can also have the releases of the code. You can also um, uh, speak about the issues and you can maybe have help from the community. And also you can see what we plan to develop with a project uh, tab. We also did a documentation. We read the doc. Um, we try to keep the documentation as complete and as clear as possible. And we try to, to follow um, 
each time we have a new version of noise modeling, we try to have a new version of the documentation. I spoke about the modular calculation chain. In fact, it's typically when you do a, a noise modelization, you just put the start button and in the same time, it will do the emission, the pass finding algorithm and after the propagation part. But in the Knossos EU model, you can separate these three parts. So we, so we decided to separate these three parts. In this way, uh, you can, for example, keep uh, the result of the pathfinding algorithm, which is a lot of rays, you can keep it on your hard drive. Uh, now SSD hard drive now are really fast for reading and writing information, for example. So you can keep this ray on the hard drive and after you can compute a lot of noise maps for different parameters of propagation, temperature, uh, relative humidity and so on, or for emission, different flow rates of vehicle and so on. So because the pathfinding algorithm is much costful in time, you can do it only one time and after you can change uh, the input parameters for emission and propagation. Finally, I said that was compatible with GIS format and was cross-platform. Cross First, I tell that noise modeling is cross-platform because it was developed in Java. Java is cross-platform uh, language uh, development that you can uh, use, for example, with Android or uh, Mac OS or Linux or Windows, it doesn't matter. You can also pilot this library, Java library, and to do a link between the libraries and uh, GIS databases, which are PostGIS and HUGIS, which are databases uh, really useful if you want to manipulate your databases, which have uh, special features because it's already include a lot of functions that you can use uh, yes, to, to manipulate uh, special video features in databases. So now how to use noise modeling. First, you can use only the noise modeling libraries if you want. Uh, just call these libraries in your Java uh, program uh, and so on. A second way to do is to, do, to use this noise modeling library, but also to interact with GIS databases, like I showed you just before, for example, using Groovy script. Groovy is kind of Java language, but uh, much easier to, to write. And finally, we also decided to develop an interface, user interface. So we host all the noise modeling libraries, but also the database inside a geo server. Uh, which is kind of servers which is compatible with GIS format, so you can uh, on this server uh, manipulate uh, special features, but you can also look about the maps and so on. And to pilot the Geo server, we use an interface, the name is WPS Builder, WPS for Web Processing Services. Uh, it's a platform that we just adapt for noise modeling. It's kind of box, uh, you can see, you can just drag one box on the platform and all the small box that you have at the left it's a lot of different script that you already developed and that you can use just like a user not a developer just to compute for example the emission part to manipulate the database to import data export data and so on this is uh, zoom on the interface platform so yes here you have for example how to compute noise level directly from traffic and it said uh, what is the output that you will have with this box. To finish, I wanted to show you some noise modeling contribution. Uh, first, of course, with noise modeling, you can do a classic cartography. This is a cartography from OpenStreetMap that we propose in the uh, second tutorial in the documentation that you can compute. Uh, and it can give you some classic equivalence on level indicators like LDEN or LAQ. You remember also that we can separate the three parts and thanks to it, we can do, for example, dynamic noise mapping. It means that we compute only one time the second and the third part. We have an attenuation matrix between source and receivers and after we change the emission part. And in this way, we can do a noise map every seconds, for example, and for 15 minutes. So 900 noise maps for quite reasonable. Um, uh, so first we did a um, dynamic noise modeling, for example. Uh, so you can change noise modeling with multi-agent software. The first um, 
couplings that we did was with Simuvia in 2017. Um, it's the ones that you see at the right. Uh, you can see uh, directly where are the cars in real time and where are the cyclists. And in this way, you can, with noise modeling, uh, estimate the exposure, exposure to the noise um, of the cars. Guillermo Quintero also did uh, the coupling with the Sumo software. And now this year, we are doing it with uh, Matsim. With noise modeling, we also propose a probabilistic modeling framework for multi-source sound mapping. Um, the idea is on this map, for example, you will find the probability to listen voices in a neighborhood of Nantes in France. Um, it's the probability that the sound level of the voices are higher than the sound level of the cars. If you want uh, more information about these methods, you can refer to, to this paper. Because we separate the three parts of the calculation chain, it also helps you to uh, compute a huge number of, um, of modelization. And for example, for some thousands, a uh, number of modelization of the same part of the city, you can compute after a meta model, which is a statistical model based on the um, physical model. And you can have these kind of models that are really reactive in real time. And the time cost of uh, this statistical model is some milliseconds. And in this way, for example, you can uh, do uh, data assimilation or you can do sensitivity analysis or, um, a, a, and so on. Here it's also a contribution about the grid facade impact that was done in the Nature for Cities project. Um, you, can, yeah, you can ask if you want more information, but the idea was to see uh, what could be the impact if you uh, put a vegetation on the wall. The result is the impact is really small in this uh, case, but yes, is to see which kind of um, contribution you can do with noise modeling. To conclude, noise modeling is a software that can help you to freely compute your noise map using the Knossos EU method. You will not find any technical support because we are a researcher's team but a network of users and developers can help you on the GitHub platform. It's a really basic user interface, but it's functional and it can help you to compute noise map without uh, any uh, computer skill or developing skills. And I finally showed you how it's already useful for a research project and studies. So thank you very much. You will find all the information on the noise modeling platform uh, website or on the Noise Planet um, website. You can join the community, the GitHub community, and you will find the tutorial on our Rizodocs. Thank you very much.